been through two whole tubes and onto my third tube which I have not done with any sunscreen or any other product really. You lay it on and then a couple minutes later when it dries down I feel like it does have this smoothing effect on the skin. It just makes your pores look really flawless. So literally in the last quarter of the year I started using it and it made my top list and I used up a whole tube and moved on to my second one. So yeah. Minasan konnichiwa this is Tina and welcome back to my channel. In this video we're going to be talking about the best SPFs of 2023. If that sounds like your thing then please go ahead and channel the Shutte so we have the final best of skincare video for 2023 and it is sunscreens which I know a lot of you guys are always seeking to find your holy grail sunscreen so I'm hoping that I can help you out in any little way. I must say a lot of my picks for end of year are actually the same as my mid-year picks so if you did miss that video where I talk about best new discoveries in mid-year of last year make sure you check out that video as well because it's going to be in a little bit more detail compared to this one. But yeah, these have been my narrowed selection of the best sunscreens that I discovered in 2023. Before we get started, a portion of this video is sponsored by YesStyle, who is still my go-to site whenever it comes to buying Asian skincare, makeup, everything to do with beauty with um, global shipping. All of the sunscreens that I'm showing in today's video can all be purchased on YesStyle, so I will include their links as well as a code to get a little bit of an extra discount for you guys and yeah I guess we'll get started on the video. Also a side note my skin type is dry dehydrated and the general climate that I live in is on the drier side of things being Melbourne Australia. So all of the sunscreens in this video are chemical sunscreens so they all use chemical UV filters and are also fragrance alcohol and essential oil free all of them are just to put that out there and so I don't have to keep repeating myself. The first this one I'm going to mention is definitely the one I use the most this past year. I have been through two whole tubes and onto my third tube, which I have not done with any sunscreen or any other product really, possibly. The P Karma Water Barrier Sun Cream. So as I just mentioned, I am now onto my third tube of the P Calm sunscreen. I first started using it around April from memory. So in what, eight months or so, I am now onto my third tube. And I did take it with me on all my trips, I'm pretty sure. I went to Japan twice and then America last year. And I did always take this sunscreen because it's just so fuss free for me. It is a great moisturizing sunscreen, but isn't overly greasy, isn't overly dewy. But for my skin, it's just like the perfect amount of moisture. And basically, no matter what season I was in, I felt confident in wearing this one without it being too like drying or too heavy. The featured ingredients on this one is cape, aloe, ceramide, NP, and glutathione. So that's going to be soothing, brightening, and also help to strengthen that skin barrier as well. This one does have what, like a light essence gel type texture I would describe it and it is the easiest thing to blend like literally it blends out so so easily it doesn't have any white cast it has this slightly dewy finish I would actually say it's probably the dewiest out of my selection today so this is like top level dewiness and even then it's not like super crazy shiny dewy like some other sunscreens are so I personally like that little bit of dew since I do have drier skin I always want to look a little bit glowy rather than like matte but if you do like a sunscreen that is hydrating and moisturizing and gives you like a bit of a natural glow, I can highly, highly recommend this one. I feel like people who have normal dry and combo skin will like it best. I mean, I might be slightly biased in liking this one the best because I did um, release a box with Pecan which included this sunscreen, which by the way is still available. We're not going to do any extra stock on it, but we do still have a little bit left. So if you have been curious or you've been wanting to try this sunscreen out along with my absolute holy grail moisturizer, the box is still available. So I'll leave that in the link below too. All right, next one I have is the Hada Hada Wanda Black Rice Moisture Airy Fit Daily Sunscreen. This one, I love the texture. So it's not quite as lightweight when you first pump it out compared to the other sunscreens, but it's such a beautiful like plush 
cream texture that feels so comfortable on the skin. Like it feels like my favorite moisturizer, if that makes sense. And it really does feel like it provides a protective film on the skin without being, again, heavy or greasy on the skin. I also love the pump packaging. The packaging might be my favorite out of all of the sunscreens in this video. It's in a pump, which makes it super, super easy and clean to apply. Again, white cast free and the finish is more, like slightly more skin finish so it's a satin finish which has a slight glow to it definitely a little bit less dewy than the pecan one though this one also has an array of skin benefiting ingredients antioxidant rich black rice extract it also does have niacinamide heart leaf extract glycerin ceramide np adenosine like so many good ingredients that are going to be moisturizing to your skin help that skin barrier brightening soothing and all of that since the texture is a little bit thicker than the other ones i would say it takes a a tiny little bit more effort to blend out but still does pretty seamlessly um, without any white cast and another one that I would say that people who have dry normal and combo skin would like the best next I have the Anua heart leaf silky moisture sun cream so this one initially caught me by surprise in a sense I know so many of Anua's products are very very popular in both Korea and Japan whenever I go to Japan especially like they sell Anua everywhere and it is one of the most popular Korean brands over there but I feel like the sunscreen isn't talked about that much like I feel like their toner their cleansing oil their serum even it's talked about a lot but not so much their sunscreen yet it is such a good sunscreen it does have 30% of that heart leaf extract which they do use in a lot of their products as a soothing ingredient and it also has this patented ingredient that is supposed to help with sebum control so it's supposed to be good for even those who do have oilier or combo skin which is not me yet I thoroughly enjoyed the product because it doesn't have a super matte finish which I know some people might like but when it's super super mattifying especially for me I can't wear it because it is too drying to my skin whereas this one I feel like has most mid in terms of like a satin skin finish but it does still help to control that oil so you look like naturally glowy but not greasy or oily if that makes sense again it blends out really really easily and has no white cast whatsoever nothing to complain about really and I'm surprised more people aren't talking about it next I don't think I've actually mentioned this sunscreen properly in a video whatsoever but I am actually on to my second tube so you know I feel like that says something and it is the house of her weightless sun fluid so this sunscreen along with the pecan one has kind of been my go-to travel sunscreen so I did take this one on my second second trip to Japan this year and then also to America. Both places that I thought would be a little bit warmer, a little bit more humid compared to what I'm used to in Australia because this sunscreen is actually recommended for those who do have oilier and combo skin and to be worn even in humid weather. So I was like, you know what, that sounds perfect. Whenever there's sunscreens like that, personally having dry skin, a lot of the time they do tend to be a little bit too drying for me. Whereas this one, even if I have drier skin it hydrates and it does have that semi matte finish but it's not drying to my skin so it is perfect for those instances where it's a bit warmer it's a bit more humid but you still need that hydration for your skin it has the most beautifully lightweight texture it is kind of similar I would say to the Nivea gel one where it is very fluidy if you press it out like see it's like quite fluidy that it runs down your skin but it doesn't feel like those shaky sunscreens like the La Roche one or the Anessa one where it's like a milk fluid but kind of turns into a more powdery finish this one doesn't have that it's just like so hydrating so lightweight yet fluidy and it does have that more kind of semi matte finish when I was wearing it in a more humid climate I would say that it was like a skin finish not overly dewy, not overly matte but when I was wearing it in Australia where it's a bit drier it actually did settle into a more matte finish like for 
me and my skin, I could touch my skin and there was like no tackiness to it. And so people who do have oilier skin or do live in those humid climates, I think you will love this so, so much. It does also have um, yuzha extract and honey to hydrate the skin. As I mentioned with all the other ones, it is chemical and has no fragrance, alcohol or essential oil in it too. Other than the pecan one, definitely the one that I went through the quickest. I mean, I started using the first tube October. Yeah, October. So literally in the last quarter of the year, I started using it and it made my top list and I used up a whole tube and moved on to my second one. So yeah, have thoroughly, thoroughly been enjoying this one and will probably continue to use it as it is currently summer here in Australia. And the last one I have gotta mention it it is the number zen number one pure full calming water sunscreen in a sense i actually would compare this quite closely to the house of her because they are both sunscreens that have that really light watery feel but is hydrating but has a semi-matte finish if that makes sense like you would think something this hydrating would leave more of a do but both of them just give this natural skin finish that is semi-matte i feel like that is why so so many people can use it and so many people would love it, including people who do have oilier and combo skin. So this one consists of 49.8% of calming herb plant extracts. Now I'm not going to list them all off because there are a very large number of them and I probably can't pronounce them anyway, but the top three ingredients are heart leaf, centella and licorice root extract, which are all like such loved ingredients in K-beauty and even J-beauty and are all known to be really calming and soothing to the skin. So it is going to help if you have a bit of sensitivity, a bit of a flare up, especially in summer if you're feeling hot, it is going to help calm cool and soothe down that skin too. I do also enjoy the packaging of this one. I mean, it is just like a regular tube, but I like the fact that it does have a bit more of a different um, pointed end on it. I feel like it's just, again, a little less messy when it comes to applying. Oh, the texture is just so beautiful. Super easy to blend. I mean, I barely blended it and you can tell that it's just like kind of absorbing into my skin. And it is again, um, white cast free as well. Like, look at that just effortless, right? The other thing I noticed about this one is that it does kind of have this skin blurring effect. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like you lay it on and then a couple minutes later when it dries down, I feel like it does have this smoothing effect on the skin. It just makes your pores look really flawless. So it works really well as a makeup base too. And yeah, I feel like all skin types would love this, even oily and combo skin. Well, there you have it, you guys. I guess that's it. That is the final um, best of skincare video of 2023 can you believe it um sorry it was a little later this year but you know what it's fine as long as I got it out <laughs> right if you're free to view another video of mine make sure you click one of these because I would be so stoked if you checked it out and I will see you guys in the next one bye mm -hmm.